Hi everyone at nscale.org, Country Joe here. And for those of you that are just viewing this on YouTube, uh, if you're an nscaler, nscale.org is a great forum, a great place to be, lots of good people. You can talk about nscale trains, see videos, pictures, get advice, give advice if you're an experienced railroader. If you're starting out, a lot of people who will help you. Uh, track planners, scenery experts, structure builders, pretty much everything. It's a great place. This is my layout. Let's see, I've got my Jets shirt on. Big Jets fan. Rooting for the Giants against the Patriots. Uh, go Giants. My second favorite team. But my closet isn't full of Giants clothes. It's Jets. This is the area that's furthest along. I've settled on this much. I tend to think things through and think things through and think things through and move things. And when I finally make up my mind, I am ready to go. I haven't quite made up my mind here yet, but I, I like this bridge here. This is the outline of the river. This factory will be here next to the river. River will flow right through here. You can kind of see how I've got it lined out. I'm thinking of maybe cutting this back a little bit more because I can't really bring the river further over this way. I have the bridges to go in here. I'm not so thrilled about the crossing right there, but that I had already put in and you do see it, a road right in front of a bridge, could be. Uh, working on building this road, it's going to come up here. These buildings are not going to be here. This is my paper template. This goes here. Working on cutting the template, then I'll cut a piece to cover that. I'll be able to finish it. I've got the offset uh, portals. This will be have a uh, face you put on it so that it's covered. Not entirely sure what to do up here. These buildings are just placed up here. You see I've got some uh, some foam stacked up. I don't know if I want to do a village up here or make it just mountain, what it's going to be. I haven't decided yet. That's kind of why I'm going slow. Once I make up my mind, I'll make quick progress, but it takes me a long time to make up my mind. Uh, two pieces. This one on the edge is removable. And this one back here is removable in case anything gets stuck under there, derailments or anything happens. You can see I've got a portal cut out there. I just cut that out of a uh, Hekai brick. I've got an N-Scale Architect stockyard. It's going to go here. I think I'm going to strip these cars and paint them for my own road. You can see a train passing in the back. I've got a couple of them running. This is my uncoupling tool. It's a Rix Pix uncoupler on a flashlight. You can put it down between cars. These have torpedo couplers. I have trucks to put on them, trucks and couplers. But for cars with knuckle couplers, you can, it's a little hard to do holding the camera and looking down, but it kind of puts just enough light in there that I can see to get in between the couplers and pop them open. This is a Bachman building in the back that's been um, weathered a little bit and I think looks decent. A um, DPM, trackside transfer. You can see there's workers there and stuff. That's from the old layout. There's the new doodle bug. Right, it looks like it's catching up to the, uh, to the 080, to the work train. But that's the new Bachman doodle bug. You can see it's lit. A little hard to see here when it comes around. Maybe I'll shut the light off to show you. But it's a nice, nice unit with a nice passenger car. Hopefully Bachman will offer the passenger car separately. Uh, I've got a couple of cabis sitting here. I'm not sure if this is going to stay. I've got these little tanks. I might make this a little uh, tank car on loading station. The other track comes around. You can see over here, 
Well, you really can't see. It's a little hard, but there's a double cross. I'll fight. Let me get the other light. There's a double cross over there, and that you can switch either car. You can run up. This track comes up into a yard up here. This is a staging yard. The appearance of a switching yard. You can see I've got two long freights. Well, you can't see, right? You'll see as we go. Two long freights and four shorter trains. This is the, the Bachman 10-wheeler that's new. These are Bachman passenger cars that I didn't strip the paint off, just the lettering off quite a while ago. Uh, New York Central Sleeper. Back here, don't know if you can see it real good. These are Mount Union and Freeport passenger cars. And you say, what railroad is that? That's a friend's private road. And I bought them from him. He's going strictly New York Central. And I got that. I got two engines, which another friend is putting decoders in for me. They're not decoder friendly. They're GP7s, GP9s, older ones. And he's real good at putting them in. And I'm thinking of changing my railroad over to Mount Union Freeport because my friend got plenty of decals custom made that he's never going to use. And I've got a head start. I've got that. There is a Mount Union and Freeport caboose. You can see the work train rolling along here. The uh, lifelike Proto 080, USRA 080, New York Central. So I'm thinking of doing New York Central and Mount Union and Freeport and maybe lettering something for Alma and Jupiter Bay, which is a name that I came up with. You can see I've got the Norfolk and Western uh, Y3 that's going to be eventually be stripped, or well, the lettering stripped, going to become part of my road. It's the GP7 New York Central. But you can see I have six trains up here, and they can run out onto the layout. Two are running, and with a little maneuvering, I can get them to do some interesting operations. I've got the whisk. This is sort of a whiskey factory. It's a Woodland Scenics, actually built and ready building. Nice building, and it's going to stay here. I like it. Road will go in behind. You can see lines of, let's see, lines of how I had the road laid out. Won't work. Road will pass right behind the building. Not sure what's going to stay here. I like the look of these two. The road crossing. The general store right there, the gas station right there. Kenny Ratch, Bob made that for me. This is a bridge that he made. I don't think I'm going to get to use it anywhere. The gas station is just sitting there. Those are placeholder buildings. Not sure what industry is going to go there. Crossing here with a tower. I like the uh, coal here. Not 100% sure it's going to stay. These go with this building. This is a Northeastern scale models. Make sure my trains are not catching up to each other. Wherever that goes, these are going to be part of what it sells. I had it there. I moved it. This is another warehouse that, that Bob built, Kenny Ratch. Scratch built. Sent it off to me. I've got this siding here. So I've got in this area three sidings. I like this feed and seed here. I Probably where its home will be. Town will be arranged here somehow. Playing with the buildings, moving them, not sure. This is the Berghoff Brewery. Bob Kenny Ratch built it for me. Scratch built, sent it off to me. This is the freight station, Water Street Station. It's a Walters Cornerstone kit. It's a, it's a pretty nice kit, and it it's, needs kind of a long siding. It fits there nicely. I've actually got room to put something else here. Not sure what. You see I've got the other double cross over here. The furthest away track leads up to the uh, staging yard. Uh, have I left anything out? Oh, I think that pretty much covers it. You kind of get an idea of the layout. It's 11 and a half by 11 and a half.
well, by 11 and a half the other way. It's a square room, and it's around the three walls, so the floor is open. I've got my little work bench here. I'm working on these. These are the passenger cars I'm working on. Got them almost completely cleaned, ready to be painted and lettered. I've got easy peasy kits to go in them so that they'll be lit up and battery powered so they won't flicker. But before I shut everything off, let me just put the lights out. And you can see the, uh, the doodle bug in the dark. It actually looks pretty good. Lights don't flicker, they stay on, it runs nice and smooth. Really very happy with the new stuff that Bachman has come out with. It's really good. Don't know if these buildings are going to go. The station is going to go somewhere in this area. You can see I've got cork. I've got quite a bit of cork roadbed, HO and O, that I use for underplacement because it fits pretty good up against the Unitrack and brings the buildings up to a good height. You cover it with a little landscaping and ground cover, and it looks fine. And this is my little train room. It's where I'm at. It's, like I say, it's, it's a work in progress. My mind isn't made up on what I'm doing. As soon as it is, I will start to make good progress on it. Okay, guys, take care. I'll see all of you back on NSO. And like I say, if you're not a member, join. It's a great site with a lot of great people. Take care, guys. Bye.